We are all creators and the things all creators do best is to find ways to avoid creating. You came here for the secret, the one trick to stop procrastination forever. Is it possible? Your mind maybe questions you. Because the past has shown that all those methods, all those things you maybe bought or practice, they stop working after time, right? So let's be honest, will the thing that I will share next always work, forever work? Probably not for you, but it helped me procrastinate much less and create content with ease. No effort to start writing. In fact, I wrote this letter without procrastinating, whereas before I would procrastinate for hours very often. So what's the secret? Here it is. Create what you want to create. Not what you want to, but what you really want to. Nobody told me. Nobody tells about this. Everyone gives you a method. Two minute route this, timer this, Pomodoro that. And truthfully, even this video is has too many. Uh, you should try this. Which is not what I'm trying to do here. I'm really trying to make you see from a different perspective. The only things that work and keep working are the things you find out for yourself. Not the things you believe in. Not the things you hear from others, but the things you try for yourself, you find out for yourself, you realize and look at the results yourself and you see what it gives you. That's how I found my way to write without effort because writing is at the core of everything I do. I write what I want to write about or better said, I create the thing that I want to explore the most because if you look at what procrastination really is, it's just delaying to work on the thing that you don't really want to work on, right? And don't believe me, just ask yourself this, if this is true. If so, and you are a content creator like me, then you can choose what you work on, right? By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over $4 million dollars in revenue, hired over 50 people. And I started making videos on YouTube in 2012. I share this because humans care about numbers and appearance, but it is effectiveness over appearance that works. And the most effective way or path of least resistance is to pick the thing, to work on the thing that you gravitate most to, the topic you want to explore the most, the question which is most important to you, the problem which is most acute to you. This is not something you now need to note down. It's not a topic that you need to score in Notion or Google Sheets. This is something you know. This is something you can feel. You don't need to research and compare and score IDs. Pick the one you know you want to work on. Like a magnet, it just comes to you. But Jordan, I have a niche. But Jordan, I need to go viral. But, but Jordan, what about the algorithm? F*** your niche. If you choose to limit yourself to a niche, of course, procrastination is inevitable because you are a human with problems, with questions and desires outside your niche. Think about it. There might be only a few days in the month where you're actually interested in your niche. Maybe more maybe less, but think about it. Are you constantly interested in everything inside your niche? Start an account for every passion you have, every thing you want to explore. Be smart about it, but don't limit yourself. Create that thing that you want to create each and every day and post it on the account that will perform BAS40 algorithm. I mean, that's what I mean with being smart about it. And that's exactly what I do. I'm not sure if you've ever heard that. At least I have never. I've only found that out for myself by experimenting for myself, by truthfully just looking at the problem itself, because I was facing this procrastination almost every day because I was making videos that I really didn't enjoy making. And since I made that shift, it is really easy to write because think about it yourself. If you can write about the thing you want to write about, that's never difficult. It just goes from wherever you don't know where it comes from, it just goes. You only procrastinate on the things you don't really want to do. And I mean, why would you create about things you don't really want to create? That would be a waste of time, right? Then you are just exchanging your time for money. Then you're basically having a job. Why create about things you don't want to explore? So you get things you don't really want, like money. And the things you create about might be very trending, but not interesting. And you will waste your life never finding out what you truly desire, which may be freedom. You maybe give up your freedom to keep trapped in this niche. Now, if I may assume your mind becomes active right now and says something like, but I need money. And all I can say is, oh, I understand. So why do you hold the belief that you need a niche to make money? 
right? Because that's what it's almost implying that you cannot make money or remove the need for money by having, by not having a niche because everyone else tells you, right? Because of this conditioning, you believe this. So ask this, if you're serious, how much more would I create if I would create every day about the thing that I want to explore, that I want to solve for myself? Think about it. This is what I do. I have multiple accounts, but I write about the thing that I care about the most that day. And of course, procrastination is solved. It's almost like watching Netflix to the average person. It's effortless. And as I've said, I post that on the account that makes the most sense for the algorithm. And I stop wasting my time while still removing the need for money. I mean, I can day at 10 p.m. I've wasted enough time. And to me, that's what I found out. Pure art comes over money. If I keep prioritizing money, I will waste my time. I'm not saying this is true for you, but you may ask yourself if it is. Will this mean that you make less money if you don't pick a niche? Well, maybe it could be. I'm not saying that it isn't. So maybe the question that you have to ask yourself is what do I not want? For me, that is wasting my time. I want to waste at least time as possible. And ironically, the world craves pure art because it is nowhere to be found. Everyone is too busy with nonsense, with niches, trends, money, cars, stuff, even chasing the opposite, which is minimalism or monk mode. All the same. Don't you see that these may be the things you don't really desire? Not because I say so, after maybe seeing it for yourself. So for once, ask yourself, what do I want? That's the question I leave you with. You don't need more methods. You don't need more videos. You need nothing. And when you need nothing, you get everything. Only the serious understands. And only the serious may check the show notes. And if you are serious and you maybe want to find the truth in a specific situation in your life, but you can't really seem to find it, then you can always email me. I don't ask you for money because interestingly, it helps me solve or see certain things in my own life. But I have no interest in talking to unserious people. So if that's not you, you can find my email below. And you may watch this video next. Talk soon. My secret to create every day without procrastination is to explore what is most acute so I don't need dedication. Create what you want, that's the key. To unlock pure art and creativity. Forget the niche, forget the trends and the rest. Create what you love, it will be the best. From when you create from a place sincere, success will follow without a fear. So ask yourself, what do I want? For in that answer you will see the path to true creativity. From when you create from a place so true, you will find that everything comes to you.